Hello YouTube, it's Tony here with Hobbies of Man once again, and today we are doing a uh, first impressions review of Blue Flag. This is um, just a volume one. It's an eight volume series. I could have read the whole thing and done a review for it, but uh, it's near the end of the month and I don't really have time to do that right now. So uh, we're just going to do the first impression of volume one. This is written by Katio or Ka Kaito. I, I can't remember exactly, but I think it's one of those two. And it's published by Viz. This is a Shonen. However, this was in the Shonen Jump Plus. So it's technically like slightly more adult uh, in terms of Shonen than like whatever is on the Shonen Jump magazine. However, that's not necessarily correct because, you know, sometimes things like Don 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 or whatever that uh, series is called uh, is technically on the Shonen Jump at, uh, on the Shonen Jump magazine. But in English, we're not avail it's not directly available on the app. Um, because it's like too adult for like whatever is the, the, the measurements they need for the app, right? So it's only available online in like, um, the website. So, um, that doesn't really matter, but I, I had to talk about it. So whatever, uh, the genres of blue flag are drama, romance, and slice of life. And, um, it doesn't have an adaptation. However, I, I don't necessarily think it will get one. At this point, this manga has ended and the hype has kind of basically died down for it. There was a lot of hype when it was releasing, but not so much anymore. So I don't necessarily see it getting an anime. However, it would be pretty easy to adapt and it would probably be uh, a pretty good one and a lot of people would like it. But so far, it doesn't seem like there is one uh, and there don't seem to be any plans for it. So that sucks, but you know, the manga is still there. So it's not like it needs an adaptation anytime soon. And the premise here is basically that there's this guy whose name is Ichinose Taichi or Taichi, that's his first name, I think. And um, he's starting in the last year of high school, uh, which in Japan is the third year of high school, not like in the US where it's the fourth. Um, and he's in this class with this guy that used to be friends with him uh, when he was a little kid, whose name is Toma. I think his name is Miko Toma or Toma Miko, something like that. I can't remember. And uh, he's an old friend. And he's kind of like the super popular guy where Taichi is kind of like a more uh, not popular guy. He's not like a loser by any means, but he's definitely not like a popular person, right? So they're two kind of uh, statuses in school kind of clash quite a bit. Um, and there's this other girl called Futaba Kuze who happens to be also kind of like uh, on Taichi's like social level and like status level. She's kind of like low on the totem pole um, and Taichi kind of has a certain amount of disdain for her and we realize that it's because she reminds him of him and he kind of has like this um, this negative perception of her because she is like him and this kind of comes off kind of roughly um, but she ends up you know developing a connection with Taichi through the fact that she likes Toma and we get to see kind of an exploration of the relationships and the drama that builds around this group of friends as they slowly start to hang out more. And it's a very interesting story. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Initially, I thought that the story was gonna be a bit shallow. Uh, I don't know why, but the last few days uh, recently, I've been kind of a little bit more um, cognizant and kind of um, reactive to a lot of the shonen romance setups. Um, like Kiss Him Not Me, I didn't really um, enjoy that one. I felt it was really shallow. I thought that this was gonna be kind of similar here where a male character kind of um, helps a female character out. Uh, in this case, Taichi helps Kuze out uh, in order to try to get her close to Tom, uh, Toma, but he doesn't really do it like um, in a well-meaning way. He kind of just does it by accident but also realizes this and isn't happy with it. And then he develops this kind of attraction to Kuze. And then we, re, you know, get to see that Toma and uh, Kuze's friend uh, Itachi have some problems that they have to work out that Taichi and Kuze don't know about. And it's very interesting. Like overall, by the end of the first volume, which is the first five chapters, I was pretty invested in it. I'm pretty curious to continue it or to see where it goes. I definitely want to continue it, but um, I'm not sure where it's going to go. I, I'm kind of curious. I think that it's really interesting. It definitely has a more nuanced and more developed romance instead of just it being like, oh, this one girl likes this loser, but then this other girl also likes this loser, but then this other girl also likes this loser. 
like in a lot of shonen, this feels more like rounded, like more nuanced, like it means something. Like the romance isn't just to have a cute story or to have a story where the male character can be a stand-in for a less popular male reader or something like that. And I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Overall, I just love the nuance of it, the kind of deeper meanings to it, right? Because it, it has this element where, you know, Taichi kind of develops feelings, uh, Toma has feelings, Kuze has feelings, and then Itachi kind of was added in at, in, the, in, in the end there to kind of make the mix even more wild. And I'm really curious to see how it goes. Also, just the way it started, you know, by talking about this dilemma of saving your friend or saving your lover. That was really interesting. I hadn't really heard of that dilemma before. So it was an interesting kind of concept to introduce early on. And I'm guessing it's going to become relevant later on in the story. But overall, Blue Flag was great. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. And I'm definitely going to read more of it. So there you go. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you guys think about Blue Flag. Have you liked it? Have you read it? Have you not liked it? Have you not read it? Just let me know down in the comments and let's get a conversation going. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.